this fight with uh, Max Holloway come December 12th between him and I has a little bit of a history behind it. Uh, as some people may know or may not know, me and Max are actually old training partners. Uh, he's somebody that I had brought out for an Anthony Pettis style uh, several years back when I was fighting at 155 pounds. My management team and I uh, discovered Max. Well, my management basically knew who he was, knew he was a wild, elusive uh, striker, uh, very unpredictable, uh, could jump off fences and probably do uh, much more stuff, you know, stuff like Anthony Pettis. So we brought him out. I liked what I saw. Uh, me and Max hit it off right away. He was a good guy, genuinely, probably one of the best uh, people on the roster that I know, that I uh, consider a friend still, even though uh, we may not call her or text each other every day. I still consider him a friend. I've always uh, supported his career, even though ever since I moved down to 145 pounds, I've always rooted for Max. Uh, just because I think he's a good guy. I like his style. He's a good family man. And uh, with that being said, as, uh, as I can remember, I actually made him Max. I knew he was going to have a, have a kid on the way. I actually made him set up uh, my uh, newborn's uh, swing, a little uh, rocker. I remember I was like, hey, man, you're going to have to learn about it someday. I let him set it up for me. And then, uh, you know, later on, I actually bought his... Uh, his son a bassinet and some clothes and sent it out to Hawaii as a as a gift for him so me and Max definitely uh, go back and uh, he's somebody that uh, I actually like and uh, support uh, come come fine night December 12th you know it's gonna be no different as in uh, training with him a long time ago uh, we had no problem punching each other in the face and getting down Anytime that uh, that I can recall that me and him ever trained, there was always fireworks and a good training session. We always pushed each other and uh, definitely absorbed a, a lot of knowledge from him, as I'm sure he did from me. And uh, I got a good feel about for who who and uh, who and how and uh, Max fights and how he is, and uh, especially him as a person. Uh, that doesn't change the, the game plan going in December 12th. I have no problem punching Max in the face, as I'm sure he has no problem trying to do something flashy to kick me in the head. So it's going to be great. I think it's going to be fireworks. Again, you know, every time that we uh, got inside the cage and trained or sparred, it was just uh, it was always fireworks between us. So nothing's going to change come December 12th. Just uh, going to have to go in there and dominate an old friend. And uh, I'm sure afterwards we're going to be uh, still support each other, one another. There's no, there's no going to be no hard feelings. It's going to be a great night. We're going to kick it off uh, one of the biggest fight cards of the year, and uh, I think we're going to steal the show. There's a lot of great fights on the card, but I just know in my heart and uh, what I'm capable of. I know what uh, Max is capable of, and I know that when we when we collide, it's just going to it's going to mix into something great. And uh, I think the fans are in for a real treat, and uh, we're kicking it off, and uh, we're going to kick it off right.